everyone, Kate here from the Auto ID division at Toshiba. The purpose of this video is to give you a quick introduction to the two different printing methods that Toshiba offers. So we specialize in thermal transfer printing and also thermal direct. So whilst the machines look very similar, there is actually a mechanical difference between the printers. So in front of me we have the BEX series and on the left of me is the BEX 4T model. And the T indicates that it uses thermal transfer as the method for printing. On the right here, we have the BEX 4D. D indicating that it's using direct thermal. So whilst they look the same, if we open up the hoods, you'll see that there is a mechanical difference. So with the machine on the right, which is the D model, you'll see that there is an element here that's missing. And that's actually where the role of ink would sit if you're using thermal transfer. Thermal transfer printing uses ink to transfer an image onto the label. So the ribbon feeds through, goes underneath the printhead. The printhead actually heats the ribbon up, which is what the role of ink is called. And then that ink will then transfer to the label. So when you're using thermal transfer, you should have both the labels at the back and the ribbons at the front. With direct thermal, you'll see that there's literally just the roll of labels and it's actually in direct contact with that print head. And the reason for that is because this paper that you would use for thermal direct or direct thermal printing is actually heat sensitive. So once it's gone under the print head, it actually burns the label. And the result is that you then get a black mark on the label. So if you think about receipt paper, for example, if you leave it on the dash of your car for too long, it actually becomes black. And that's because it's also using that direct thermal paper, which is reacting to the sun. So if you're not sure what kind of labels that you might have, just as an example, direct thermal labels will react when you scratch your nail along it. And you'll see that there's a black line across this label, which is from the friction when I've rubbed my nail along it. So those are the two main differences between using thermal transfer and direct thermal. Thermal transfer requires a roll of ink. The ink gets heated and releases straight to the label. With direct thermal, you're printing directly onto the media. And I'll be doing a separate video which outlines the benefits of either method soon. Thank you.